this show is terrifying, right? Because we, we, we know how the normal chase works, right? You know, it's a, it's a normal quiz show where normal people win normal money for themselves, right? The celebrity chase is for charity, right? That is too much responsibility to be giving D-list celebrities, okay? Because <laughs> imagine you're a sick kid and you switch on the TV and you thought, okay, what's standing between me and a new kidney this week? <laughs> Oh, it's Ollie Murs knowing when the Eiffel Tower was built. So, like, what the fuck? That is insane. That shouldn't be allowed. And also, the most insane, the whole gimmick of the chase is at the end, they get this one really clever person called the chaser to come out and they work against celebrities. So every question they get right reduces the chance of the money going to charity, right? Which raises the question, why is the chaser answering those questions correctly, right? Again, imagine you woke up one morning and someone gave you the choice between feeding 10,000 children in a developing country or... Everyone knowing that you know the capital of Croatia. <laughs> um, and imagine being asked that, looking at yourself in the mirror and going, yes, Sarajevo. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely fucked. Um, okay, I know um, Sarajevo is not the capital of Croatia, but um, if you just whispered Zagreb to the person next to you, then you're part of the problem. So that's uh, always a few of you. Is it you? Yeah, fair enough.